Good morning, boys and girls. This is Miss Rosa. Welcome to Miss Rosa's Story Time at the Louis Ribido Library. Today we'll be reading on the Night of the Shooting Star by Amy Haste. This book is read with the permission of Candlewick Publishing. Okay, boys and girls, let's see what this story is about. Bunny and Dog live on opposite sides of the fence. Here's Bunny and there's Dog. Bunny's house is blue. A sign on the mailbox says, Bunny House Private. Inside are a table for dining, a bed for sleeping, a lamp for reading, and cocoa. Lots and lots of cocoa. Oh, look at that. It's a pretty big house, huh? Dog's house is red. A sign on the door says, Dog here, do not disturb. Inside are a table for dining, a bed for sleeping, a lamp for reading, and biscuits. Lots and lots of biscuits. Mmm. Both things are yummy, huh? Cute house. Every morning, first thing Bunny looks through the fence and the tall grass at Dog. And every morning, first thing Dog looks through the fence and tall grass at Bunny. No one says hello or hi or nice to see you today. Hmm, why is that, boys and girls? What do you think? Are they shy? Let's find out. Bunny hops and nibbles all through the day. She plants a carrot seed here and there and peeps at dog. When night comes, she sips cocoa in bed and reads. Now and then, she checks on the light in the window of the little red house. Oh, she's looking to see if he's there, huh? Let's see what dog does. Dog skips and sniffs all through the day. He hides his ball and digs it up and peeps at the bunny. When night comes, he munches biscuits in his bed and reads. He checks on the light in the window of the little blue house. Hmm. Seasons come and seasons go. <gasps> No hello, or hi, or let's have a picnic today. Look at that. Why is that? Why can't they say hello to each other? What do you think, boys and girls? Oh, one sleepless night, Bunny goes out to the yard to watch the stars above the little red house. Dog's house. Dog needs a friend, she thinks. Who could be Dog's friend, she says. The stars are dim but beautiful that night. Look, she's on the swing and he's looking up at the stars. It's kind of dark, huh? On the other side of the fence, that very night, Dog watches the moon above the little blue house, Bunny's house. Bunny needs a friend, he thinks. Who could be her friend? The moon is beautiful and the stars. So they're both thinking that they both need a friend, huh, boys and girls? Maybe they'll have the courage to talk to each other. All at once, the night sky brightens. A shooting star <gasps> zips through the sky and then it's gone. <gasps> Look, they're both looking at it. <gasps> what do you think they wished for? You know, when a shooting star passes, you're supposed to make a wish. Bunny looks at Dog. Dog looks at Bunny. They had seen a shooting star, but now it is gone. <gasps> Look, they're smiling at each other. Back in the little blue house, Bunny lies under the table and thinks about Dog and their shooting star. She thinks for a long time. In the little red house, 
Doc sits on the chair and thinks about Bunny and their shooting star. He thinks there for a long time. So they're both thinking about it. On the night of the shooting star, two doors opened. Bunny carries cocoa in cups carefully to the fence where dog is waiting with a basketball full of biscuits. <gasps> oh, boys and girls, what do you think? I could be your friend, says the one. Yes, please, says the other. Oh, how cute. They finally decided to say hello to each other. They get to work digging a hole under the fence. In time, it is just the right size for the one to sip through and just the right size for the other. The cocoa is hot, the biscuit sublime. They had seen a shooting star and now it is gone. <clears throat> But for the rest of their days and nights, Bunny and Dog are exceptional friends. Look, they had a picnic. Look at all that yummy stuff. They're both so happy. Look, they're dancing to the music. The end, boys and girls. Hope you guys see you guys next week. And I hope you guys had a very, very happy new year. Goodbye. These are a few similar great books located at our branch, available for checkout. Thank you for joining us at our virtual story time. Express services at the Lewis Rubido Library are available Sunday through Saturday. We're located at 5840 Mission Boulevard. You can reach us at 951-682-5485 or rivlib.net.